you are now going to look up a career that you're interested in and explore some details. The website we're going to use is bls.gov. Here is a link that you can use to go straight to the page in bls.gov that we're interested in. If you have any issues, you can always just go to bls.gov. right here, www.bls.gov. So you can click on students, go down and click on student resources, and then click on career exploration if the link doesn't work for any reason that's right here. So once you get to this page, you're going to look up all of the information that we see bulleted and write a paragraph. So this helps you to break down careers according to what you study at school or different topics you may think about. If you can't find what you're looking for, you can come up here to the search field and type something in. For example, if you go to teaching, I don't see anything about middle school teachers, only middle school principals. But if I come up here and I type in middle school teacher, Right here, I'll see middle school teachers. So let's use this as an example. So when you get to the main page, you're gonna see a summary about the career. The median pay that we see here is the middle number, the middle pay of teachers throughout the country. And this is gonna be when they've had a lot of experience. This is not what you make coming right out of college. The other number that we need to look at that's really important is the job outlook. This says 8% as fast as average. What that means is the demand for teachers will stay average. There's not going to be a huge demand or a low demand, but there will be a demand for teachers, which means you should be able to find a job. And then the other thing we need to pay attention to is the education level. You need to choose a career that requires at least a bachelor's degree, degree or more. It cannot just say some college or no college. It has to require a bachelor's degree, which is the same thing as a four-year degree. Or it might say master's degree or doctoral degree or medical degree, but there must be a degree required and it cannot be an associate's degree, which is just a two-year degree. So you're going to read what they do right here. You're going to read about the work environment and you're going to read it how to become whatever it is you're interested in. Notice in particular the important qualities. These are qualities that you need to develop in order to be good at the career. And then we're going to go to pay. I want you to find the lowest 10% here. See, this says the lowest 10% earns less than $38,540. Well, since you're going to be beginning in your career, so we're going to assume you're your first year out of college, we're going to go with this lowest number and put that in our blog post and we'll use this in our budget. Now you can look over here to at this bar graph and compare the salary you looked up with other salaries and you'll see the total of all occupations. Keep in mind again that this is going to be people that have been working for a while, not beginning workers. And the total of all occupations, that's going to include people that are unskilled laborers. In other words, they didn't have to go to college. So it kind of brings this, this median down some for, for college educated. Okay, now let's go back to the summary. So we need to make sure that we are required to go to college. We want to make sure that we at least have a job outlook that's average or above average. In other words, the demand will be average or above average, so we'll be able to find a job. And again, look through these one, two, three, four tabs for other information. And under pay, the main thing you're looking for is the lowest 10%. That's the number that you want to write into your um, blog. So let's look at what we're required to have. So a basic description of your career, one paragraph. And, that, and we want to include the educational requirements the outlook for your career, which was how much in demand it is, and the beginning salary, which was the lowest 10%.
Now, if you find anything where the beginning salary or the lowest 10% is, is over $75,000, you are not allowed to use that because it's unrealistic. So $75,000 per year is the highest amount that you can use as a starting salary. The other thing I wanted to let you know is if you're going to be a doctor, just put $60,000 down because it's hard to find good starting salary information. And with doctors, you start out way in debt and you have low pay. And then over time, you have high pay and no debt. But it just takes time. So we're just going to average all that out and have you put $60,000 a year if that is the profession that you choose. So you're going to put all this in a blog post. And then the tags that you need to use are career, class tag, like Williams P6 for Williams period six. And instead of time capsule, let's use financial literacy planner FLP. As you see here, FLP. 